In this video, we're going to be using our understanding of rounding to find the value of missing numbers. So this first example says, if 191,550 is the result or answer when this number with the missing digit is rounded to the nearest 10, what could be the missing digit? So this is our answer. This is where we were before. So thinking about that rule we've done, where remember we were looking at the digit to the right of where like the nearest 10, so we'd underline the 10 looking to the right. Because it was zero to four, we must have stayed the same. So if we stayed the same and the value here is a five, it must have been a five before. And then let's ask ourselves if that makes sense. Is 191,551 rounded to the nearest 10 close? So would it be close to 191,550? Yes, that definitely makes sense. So I'm going to say the value previously was a 5. This example says which digit makes the statement true? 300,000 is the result when this number is rounded to the nearest 100,000. So here's our 100,000 column. If we're going to round this number and it ends up rounding to 300,000, what would this have been before? So think back a little bit. We're always looking at that digit to the right, and the 8 tells us we must have rounded up. So I'm then going to look, okay, it ended up being a 3. If I rounded up before, it must have been a 2. Does 286,000, etc. round up to 300,000? Yes, that makes sense. So it must have been a 2. This example says, if when 92 and 83 mystery number 97 is rounded to the nearest thousandth, the result is 92 and 833 thousandths, what could be the missing digit? So... This is what the number looked like before. We rounded and it got to 92 and 833 thousandths. I'm looking, I noticed that this is nine was the digit to the right. So nine means we must have rounded up. So it must be one less than three, which is two. Does that make sense? Yeah, the nine would make the two go oh. up to a three. So four must have been a two. This last example says, if 54,931 and 8, or sorry, 0. 0.8 something, rounded to the nearest tenth is 54,931 and 9 tenths, which could be the missing digit? Select all possible answers. So which of these would work? So written here, what we had before with our missing digit at the end, and then what we end up with after we round, 54,931 and 9 tenths. So which digits, digit or digits could we put in here in order to end up with 9 tenths? So before we had 8. So if we think about that same method we've been talking about, we would have circled this digit here, underlined the one we were sort of looking at, because nearest tenth, so we underlined the tenths. And then we look to the digit to the right to decide if we're going to stay the same or go up. So it obviously changed from 8 and it went up to 9. So this must be anything between 5 and 9 to make that round up. So when we look at our options, every single one of those would have worked. If this was a 6, it would have made the 8 round up to 9. If this was a 9, it would have made the 8 round up to 9. Same for 7 and same for 8. So actually... Every one of those is correct or could have been a possible answer. Okay, that's the last uh, example for this section. Good luck.